tonight on Chronicle. Talk about turning a silk purse into a sow's ear, why he's hamming it up painting pigs in a poke. Why pigs? <laughs> why not? Uh, it's, it's bizarre. I painted a pig one day. I have no idea why. I call it the swine inspiration or something like that. That's right, but tonight a man who started his own graphic design company in 1969 and for 39 years produced award-winning advertising and marketing materials for businesses like Bell & Howell and Sylvania and Compact. Now he was always a bit of a ham at heart, but now retired he was afraid of becoming a bore. Hogwash, said his wife, who encouraged him to change his focus to more poor sign pursuits. Meet a one-of-a-kind artist who, yes, loves to put lipstick on a pig. This one is riding piggyback. Dwayne Hammond is an artist. His subject matter, pigs. Why pigs? <laughs> Why not? Uh, it's, it's bizarre. I painted a pig one day. I have no idea why. I call it the swine inspiration or something like that. Hammond, whose last name, ironically enough, really is Ham Mund, creates his humorous masterpieces in a shed behind his Alton home called the Pig Pen. His company, Pigs in a Poke, sells what he describes as humorous and satirical piggerfernalia. To, to make people laugh, to, to give them a, something to giggle about, something to, to get a laugh out of, a kick out of, you know, it's fun, uh, you know. When he came up with his poor sign idea, the tap just kept flowing. Come out to my studio and started painting. I, before I realized that I was up to about 25 paintings. So, and they're all pigs and they're all puns and double entendre and classic uh, humor, you know, old fashioned. Bad jokes, <laughs> I guess you could call them that, but they're, they're uh, funny and that's what it is. I paint, some, I, I paint pigs, but humor is what I'm really, really trying to promote. Some of the humor is obvious, like Uncle Ham wants you. Other pieces are a bit more subtle, like the one titled AKA William Shakespeare that shows Sir Francis Bacon penning Hamlet. I want to have a subject that everyone can say, hey, I've been there. I can relate to that pig because that pig is me. <laughs> then there's the painting Hammond sent to Tom Brady called Pigskin Pride. Notice what's written on the game ball. Since 2003, Hammond has come up with over 50 different pig paintings and sold over 500 illustrations. What I try to do is make them uh, almost realistic, but I put a little human touch to their eyes and to their mouth, so they have a, a human characteristic to them. And I try to put them in all kinds of human situations. My goal is to try to find uh, uh, illustrations of pigs in almost anything you or I might do or what a profession might be. I'm going to I have a I'm going to be doing a pig handing up a pair of underwear to the a judge. This is for lawyers. And it's going to say attorney Hogwarts submits his briefs. <laughs> All right, things like that. Uh, I want to do one for sports. I want to do one for avocation vocations. Almost uh, just ordinary people that sit at home watching TV. Those human situations are limited only by Hammond's pig-headed imagination, which is boundless. This is Fenway Frank. I've done very well with this one. Oh, yeah. That's Dur during baseball yeah. season, Fenway Frank. Here's one you'll recognize, American Hogothic. Here's Mona Lisa. And this one is Onomesile, which is pig Latin for Mona Lisa. Oh, OK. Here's the Vitruvian Man. Vitruvian ham. Vitruvian ham. Oh, that's great. And I wrote this. I wrote this backslant and everything else. So it looks like Da Vinci had done it, you know. But it, but it says, you know, the belly button is now placed in the center of the pig's body, and if a pig lying with its uh, snout upward and legs extended from the next from the navel to the center of a circle, described it, it would touch their front hooves and hind feet. And it, you know, it's a description of the, the, the dimensions of a pig. Here's Pigasso. This is one of my most recent ones. 
This is Albert Schweinstein reading a book, Physics for Dummies. This is my last one. This one I just finished yesterday. This one's called Ludwig van Beethoven and his fifth. You see the fifth of whiskey? Favorite pigs? Yeah, the last one I did. <laughs> I mean, I, maybe it sounds like an ego test, but when I finally get one done, I say, yeah, that was better than any of the others I've done. And then when I compare them all together, that one go down the line a little bit, you know, as far as one of my favorites. But there are a couple. I think the one that really um, got me a lot of attention and, and, and I'm really happy with, and I can't take full credit for it because I really stole the idea. It's the, it's the painting, uh, the, the, the scream. You know that painting yeah. with Munchs? Well, I, uh, I did a parody on it, and I put a pig in there, and I call it the squeal. And uh, it's really, really taken off. Who knew pigs were capable of so much? The process to create these works takes days from concept to pig masterpiece. I start usually by drawing the pig in, in, in the area that I want to have him um, located. Usually I start with the ears for some reason or other, I don't know why. Once I have the ears drawn, I, I, I don't know, things seem to fall together. Very long legs, so I have to be careful I don't make them look too long. But I'm using pastels, and they're very, very difficult to work with. I mean, it's hard to hold a clean, solid line. I use pastel pencils, I use soft pastels, and it, sometimes it's frustrating to try to get a nice clean sharp line and you just can't but so just keep working at it and finally I come up with something that is acceptable and then when I reproduce them I reduce them slightly to tighten them up a bit actually laying down a base okay. of color coming up to the edge of things I don't want to cover over obviously because I know that I'm going to go back over this this color with a, a little darker color. I feel that's a little bit too dark, so I tone it back a little bit. I keep going back and forth until I have it the way I know I want it. Hammond is beginning to find success with his pigs. They will soon be sold worldwide on cards, t-shirts, you name it. I almost feel guilty that I'm doing something that I shouldn't making money on I don't know it's just it's so easy for me I uh, and I enjoy it so much and I get out here at my desk at you know nine in the morning before I realize it's 5 30 in the afternoon he credits his wife Sandy for his success right. um, is it refined enough? oh yeah I've got it in and because you want to know who I am look at my pigs they represent my love level of skill my imagination my creativity my ability as an artist and a designer and uh, I'm not I don't have any uh, apprehensions about who I am or what I am anymore I, I'm, I don't have to fake it to make it this is me <laughs> you know and if you want to know who I am look at my pigs <laughs> how many people can say that <laughs>